Hello, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to talk about three terms we're going to talk about. Sphere, astigmatism, and axis. Let's hit the bench. Three terms, sphere, astigmatism, axis. If you need more information on the common refractive errors of the eye, which is closely tied to this, uh, this stuff, well, then there's a video for that. Go ahead and watch it. If you need to know more about how lenses correct those refractive errors, well, there's a video for that too. Go and watch that. Today, we're just gonna nail these three terms. One of the best ways to do that is working with our three-dimensional model. It'll really help you out here. If you ever are gonna understand lens design, point of wear measurements, or contact lenses, you must grasp these ideas in three dimensions. Must, there is no way around it. You'll never get it, the light bulb will never go on. Let's dig into our eyeball here for just a second. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. All this stuff is inside the body on the outside of the orbit or the eyeball. We, nothing to do with us. This is the vitreous humor, the gel-like substance inside the eye. Inside the eye, nothing to us, not our problem. Uh, crystalline lens back there, inside the eye, not our problem. Iris and the pupil, inside the eye, not our problem. Then there's the cornea. The cornea, some of it's inside the eye, but a lot of it's on the outside. And that's where we take over, right? Everything from the front surface of the cornea all the way to the sun and everything in between is what opticians need to know about. Of course, we cover that in all the other videos and on the website. I could use this cornea, but of course, it's really hard to see. So I'm going to switch to a couple of balls. A spherical cornea is a cornea that is perfectly round. And if I took it off and you think about a cornea being, you know, you can see it, go look in the mirror. If I sliced off the top half of a perfectly round ball, well, that would be a spherical cornea. The radius of curvature from the center point out would be the same in every direction. Quite literally, if I take my PD stick and I measure across, I get oh, about a hundred. And if I measured it across in the other direction, other meridian, I'd get about 100. Okay? It's a sphere, perfect, round. And I'm always going on about how we, you know, the concepts that are present are always in very simple forms. We're not trying to be a doctor. We're not trying to be optical engineers. But especially if you get into contact, you realize that when we're talking about the cornea, spheres, astigmatism, toric, it's actually really pretty darn close. Um, so that's a spherical cornea. What is astigmatism? Astigmatism simply means that the human's cornea is shaped more like this football. Instead of being perfectly round like that, instead, it's shaped like this. And it really is pretty much shaped like this. <laughs> it's one of those few cases where things work out pretty well for us. The astigmatic cornea, a cornea with astigmatism, a person with astigmatism, simply has a misshapen cornea, which will have a steep curve and a shallow curve. Those curves often follow the shape of the human eye. It's called with the rule astigmatism, but it is not always the case. And with the rule means that it's going to be somewhere around the 90th meridian, not perfectly up and down, 180, 90. It's just going to be around there somewhere. In extreme cases, against the rule, things would look like this. Now, of course, my cornea doesn't move once I develop as, a, my, as an adult, and you know things are kind of fixed. If my cornea happens to be astigmatic and it's formed in the body at about that position, say, it's going to pretty much remain there right? Let's say I have LASIK or some other kind of thing. Does it move a little sometimes? Yeah, but all right, so there. Could be there. Could be anywhere of, you know, 180 degrees you wear around. Now, let's just say that this person developed and their astigmatic cornea ended up 
about there, which would be, and I'm, I need to look at this, which would be, let's say roughly about 85 degrees. In order to correct their vision, you do refraction and you would come up with a lens power or lens powers to correct it. If I take that lens, I need a way to communicate with the person making the lens and the person making the glasses how to properly position this lens, the curves on this lens, so that they correspond to the curves on the cornea, two curves, two curves, to correct vision. That is axis. Axis is a notation of position. If it was, if I found that I needed my strongest power to align with the steepest curve on this particular astigmatic cornea, and I needed that aligned at 85 degrees, 85 degrees, cut it, mounted in a frame, it would align with the steepest curve there, if that was what was necessary to correct this particular refractive error, and I would have a person that would be happy with their glasses. So that's it. There we go. We have got sphere, a perfectly round cornea. We have got astigmatism, a cornea that is misshapen, much like this football. And we have axis, a notation of position so that I can rotate a lens around, a lens that has two different principal meridians, two different powers, so that it aligns correctly with the curves that are on the cornea to correct vision. I think I did it. All right, thanks so much for watching. I will see you again next week. I do hope you took something away from that little lesson. If you did, please hit that subscribe button down there, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and make absolutely sure that every uncut lens in your optical world comes from Laramie K. Oh, Earth is wild seeing.